Sponsor Rent really is very keen to develop and pr provide homes, homes to a much, much needed country which is in the middle of a housing crisis. Um, we have huge amounts of investment that is pent up, looking for opportunity, just 1.1 billion invested in Q1 alone. But the opportunities are just not there. And I would say that the biggest challenge to more be built to rent of its various kinds in the UK is the planning system. It's just a blocker to development. So we have the money ready to go. We have the customers ready to, to, to rent our, our, our homes. And the bit in the middle, it's just not happening. So I would say we need, a, we need special recognition of built to rent in the planning process. We deliver quickly, we deliver quality buildings, and that's our biggest blocker. The rent control laws in, in, in Scotland effectively stopped investment. I know from speaking to um, built to rent investors that they took 100 million pounds off the table within 24 hours of that an, an announcement. I also know that Scotland has an acute housing so shortage. So it just seems to me that rent controls are going to be a major, major um, um, negative to investment. Nobody is scared of positive, intelligent, careful regulation that protects customers, that protects the environment, that protects communities. Nobody's afraid of that. But, but um, using emergency powers to, to, to create um, um, a rent control situation has spooked investors and will continue to do so. Well, built to rent is, is moving rapidly into um, um, secondary and tertiary uh, cities. I mean, you know, we, 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 we've seen already uh, outside of London, you know, Manchester and is, is going great guns. Um, Birmingham is, and the Midlands are the next round now. They're going to really, there's going to be 10,000 built to rent um, homes created in the very short future there. We are seeing a lot of movement in the Northeast. And of course, London and the Southeast continues to be buoyant as well. I don't think that there's anywhere in the UK that is that, that is not necessarily a candidate for built to rent. It's a national solution. Obviously, the viability needs to be um, um, proven and all that sort of thing. But it's not something which is geographically specific or even an urban specific solution. Single family housing can be placed anywhere as long as the market uh, is there and, 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 and everything stacks up. The biggest difference between single family housing and in rental terms and for sales terms is the quality of the apartment. The truth of the matter is, is that a lot of investors are having to spend quite a lot of money on buying homes from our house builders because they do not meet the environmental performance criteria that the investors require. So what built to rent across the board is known for is quality. In single family housing, I think that differential between a, a rented property from a built to rent in, in, in industry and a for sale property will be even more acute because the quality thresholds in our sales housing are just not as good as they are in the rental economy, at least in the built to rent economy. Net zero is a huge challenge for our industry and for the planet more generally. We, we all have a responsibility to, do, to, to, to meet this challenge and to, and to navigate it. We're very, very unique in as much as that we have quite a joined up set of dynamics between the investors, between the developers and the contractors and the operators. It's a long term hold. So we take a much more thoughtful approach to our buildings and how they will be managed and the performance required within them. And this has been led by the, by, by the funds. It's not been led by legislation. I have very clear messaging from my, our investors that they're not going to hang around and wait for government to legislate for net zero. They're going to just go ahead and make sure that it's part of their development. So we take it very seriously right at the very top end where the money is all the way through. The UKA has got um, various working groups and committees who are looking at the subject matter and how we apply it on a more micro level within projects and within the management of, of, of buildings and that sort of thing. But it's a, it's a very big issue. We are making our contribution. I don't think we're going to solve everything, but we're going to certainly make a big, as big a contribution to, to, to dealing with this critical issue as, as best we can.